when it comes to reviews and the consensus, which of course comes with a score, we frequently and mostly talk about Rotten Tomatoes. But in the last couple of months, a lot of people have said I should also start talking about Metacritic. So let's talk about Deadpool and Wolverine and how it's bombing on Metacritic. So if you don't know what Metacritic is, well, um, it's like Rotten Tomatoes, but not as, uh, I guess, as big in the industry as it is in some other industries. Like video games typically are always talked about in terms of, hey, how did it do on Metacritic? Because Rotten Tomatoes, I mean, they're not known for games, right? So there you go. And also when it comes to Metacritic, there is actually incentives to make better products. Like many video game companies have talked about how if they get over an 85 on Metacritic, they get giant bonuses and things like that from the publisher. Well, when it comes to Metacritic and films, they're also a little bit more strict in terms of who they allow to actually publish reviews on Metacritic. And they also have a different score conversion. So like Rotten Tomatoes, where you actually get a score that doesn't represent the actual consensus in a weird way. Like you can have a bunch of 6 out of 10s and Rotten Tomatoes will give it like an 88 approval rating because it's mostly positive over negative. Metacritic takes your score and then either you provide them a conversion or they convert it themselves. So you get an actual score on a 100 point scale. I hope I explained all this right, because, uh, it, look, um, I think I did a good enough job so you guys understand. So the Rotten Tomatoes score is not really based on a number out of 100 per se, where Metacritic's is. And I wanted to preface all this and explain it because they're completely different criteria on how they sort of judge and come up with a end score. So as of right now, when I'm making this video about Metacritic, Deadpool and Wolverine just had, as I refreshed before this video... A score of 78. Now on Metacritic, and again, different criteria and a different score based on a 100 point scale, I just checked before this video and it has a 53, which obviously is um, right there in the middle. I mean, you know, you got to look at it differently, right? A 53 is slightly above 50, which is right in the middle. And if you were to think about this in terms of a grade, a letter grade, this would be an F. So, okay, um, what does this mean? Well, what does it mean to you? I know what it means to me. What does it mean to you? And again, I'm going to start talking about Metacritic more because a lot of you have said, hey, I should cover most of them or most of the big ones. The one that we are not going to cover is IMDb. Because as we saw with like the Acolyte, every episode an hour before it aired had over 10,000 reviews stating it was a one star before nobody could see it. That's the most skewed because it's just, um, well, it's bots and some honest people. So we're not going to talk about IMDb. We'll talk about Rotten Tomatoes and Metacritic going forward. So what does 54 mean to you? Maybe when you check it might be 55, 56, or maybe it's going to go down to the 40s. I don't know. Is this an indicator of quality well clearly right because that's what they got but is it going to impact your enjoyment or you seeing the film and by looking at ticket sales i don't think it will maybe it will in repeat weekends if uh you know people go watch it, and then to them it ends up being bad and metacritic like rotten tomatoes also has a audience score which we can talk about down the road so maybe that'll be interesting to look at how Maybe there's differences there, but overall, there you go. Our first Metacritic video, and well, yeah, Deadpool and Wolverine is bombing with Metacritic. So, make of that whatever you will. <laughs>